Hi everyone, welcome to Wish Problem. So in this video, we'll be looking at Class 8 Search A1 Match Techno. So first, what is a cert? When A is A belongs to positive rational number and let N be any positive integer i plus that is not equal to 1 then nth root of a which is an irrational number this is a cert when this n is not equal to 0 and a is a positive rational number when this is being written in this way then it is which is a rational number it is a cert clear so now i'll tell you what a what a third is also called as third is also called as third or you can also call it as radical okay now whenever in the context when you find radical it means the same as third so don't get confused with it now this root n is there right this part this is called as radical sign what sign radical sign and this n this n is called the order of the third order of the third and this a a is the radicand radicand okay now until here it is clear right yes so this is a third when this sign is being shown it is a radical sign and n this value whatever is here that is the order of the third and a this is the radicate now how will you read this this is read like nth root of a how it is read nth root of a now this is clear to you all so this is just the introduction of the chapter like it is a new topic for us but that's what i'm just giving a short and sweet intro fine now there are note points first note point is nth root of a power n is equal to a now how is it possible when both the power and the you know square both are same i mean when the order and even the power are same they can get cancelled out that is why it will be the same now that is the first note point second note point is in general second root of a when you have to write second root of a it can be written as root a okay now root a means second root of a now this this point is very essential that you need to keep it in your mind right now every third is irrational third note point is third every third is irrational but every irrational needn't be the need not be a third okay now this point will be useful when you are solving the statement type questions right yeah now example for this third statement is now root 2 it is a third it is all it is a third as well as an irrational number now when you consider pi it is a irrational number but not a third right it is not a third clear now that is the example for third one now let's look at the types of thirds now types first we will be looking at based on order so types also they are first one is based on order and there is another types of third which are based on terms First, we will look the types of thirds based on order. Now, there are totally three, okay? First one is quadratic. In quadratic third, the order must be two. Now, what is order? Just now we had a look, this n. This n is the order, right? So, now here, when it is a quadratic third, the order must be two. That means, 
like this but here as i told you in the note point you can just write it as root 2 this is a quadratic third next we will look at the cubic third here the order must of the third must be order 3 when it is 3 then it is a cubic third like this one you can see third root of right next is biquadratic third now biquadratic third is nothing but a third which is going to have order of 4 uh, let's take this one fourth root of 3 it is a biquadratic third fine now let's look at the types of thirds which are based on terms now based on terms there are many actually first one is monomial third which is also called as a simple third okay now the third which consists of only one term will be monomial or simple uh, third it is having only single term suppose second root of three it is only one term right this is an example for that next we have pure thirds so what is a pure third pure third having a third which is having no rational factor except unity is called pure third or complete third you can call it as complete third also so now what does this mean first i'll give you an example in order to make you clear with this now the the examples for pure thirds are root 7 uh, third root of 10 now here what do you observe here there is no number before right here only one is there that is what unity means one here only one must be there remaining no number should be in that place then it is a pure third now mixed third so mixed third just the opposite of pure third here only one is there right except one anything should be there like uh, 2 2 root 3 like that okay now i hope that is clear next compound third thirds containing two or more terms is a compound third so two or more terms 3 plus root 2 it is having two terms right when a uh, terms are being when any two numbers or two thirds are being joined with plus or minus then there are terms right there will be two terms this will be one term this will be another term so for compound third there should be two or more terms clear now that is compound next is binomial binomial thirds must have only two terms only two terms like root 2 plus root 3 this is a binomial third next is cube trinomial third trinomial third here only three terms should be there that term only you can understand that is one example 2 minus root 3 plus root 5 okay now these are the types of thirds you can see at a glance right next similar or like search so both are very same similar okay? both are same that's why similar or like search are the search which will have the same search okay now i'll give you one example 2 root 3 3 root 3 5 root 3 now these are like terms sorry like search because they are having the same third right repeatedly that is root 3 root 3 root 3 the irrational one is the same that is why it is like thirds okay now let me explain the dissimilar or unlike thirds also unlike thirds now here just the opposite of the like thirds it can be anything 2 root 3 2 root 5 anything here these are all called as unlike or dissimilar thirds. Okay. Now, this, is, this part is clear to you, right? Next, we will be looking at the product of thirds. How do we find the product of thirds? Now, when I have 3 root 2 into which has to be multiplied with 5 root 2. How do I do that? First the constant terms which are there. 
cos 3 into 5 and the remaining irrational part root 2 into root 2 you will keep multiply now 3 5 so is 15 and root 2 into root 2 is 2 now 15 2 is 30 now what is 30 30 is a rational number understood so when two similar quadratic thirds are multiplied you get a rational number okay and also the coefficient of two similar thirds is a rational number for that i will show you an example now when i have 7 cubed root of 4 divided by 2 cubed root of 4 what do you get answer now i'll divide it and show you 7 cubed root of 4 divided by 2 cubed root of 4. Now when they are getting cancelled, what is left out? 7 by 2, which is also a rational number. Clear? Now the introduction part is done. Let's get into the challenges. Now we have to write the radical, radical sign, radicant and the order of each of the following search. Now first one is root 5. Now what is radical? It is same as third. Right? It is the third itself. So now when they are asking you to write the radical, you will write the same thing. When they are write, asking you to write the radical sign, this sign whatever is there, you will just write it and show it as, as the radical sign. Radicand is this number inside as I told you. That is 5 here. And the order is 2. When that nothing is there, it is 2 already we have shown. Now for similarly for this and this also. Now I will be showing for one example here. The third one I will do. Now the radical or the third or radical is the same thing. Right? No need to write special, especially. Now radical sign. Radical sign will be what is it? Fifth root. Right? Radical sign. Next to radicand radicand it is 2 radicand is 2 and the order is 5 order 5 now first bit is done very simple right now i have done for the first and third one you can do the second one very simple now find the products of this following search now products we will do that here now how to find the product i'll tell you first bit is cubed root of 3 into cubed root of 9. Now, when these orders are same, we can multiply the radicands. Okay, when orders are not same, you can't do so. Fine. Now, first, here the orders are same. So, simply we can just multiply the, we can multiply the radicands. So, cubed root of 3 into 9. Right. So, now what is 3 into 9? First, I'll tell you in even more simpler way. 3, keep it like that only. 9 can be written as 3 into 3. Now, what is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3? Sorry, 3 into 3 into 3. It is 3 cube. Now, this cube, root cube root, can be cancelled. Just now I explained that also. So, now what is the answer? 3. Clear? Now, we will do the second one also. In this bit, it is 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3. Now, this looks like a plus b into a minus b, which is equal to a square minus b square. Both, it looks similar, right? So, now what we are going to do is 2 square minus root 3 square. Now square, square root will get cancelled. Now this is 2 square is 4 and 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay. Now third one. 3 plus root 2 into 4 plus root 3 minus root 3. Now how do we do this problem? First, this first term with entire this term, right? Entire term. And the second one with the entire so how do we do that 3 into 4 plus root 3 e minus root 7 into sorry plus root 2 into 4 plus root 3 minus root 7 now when you simplify this 3 4 is 12 
थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री इज थ्री रूट थ्री थ्री इंटू रूट सेवन इज थ्री रूट सेवन नाउ हियर प्लस रूट टू इंटू फोर इज फोर रूट टू प्लस रूट टू इंटू रूट रूट थ्री इज रूट सिक्स एंड रूट टू इंटू रू माइनस रूट सेवन इज माइनस रूट फोर्टीन नाउ दिस इज द आंसर फाइन नाउ वी विल लुक एट द थर्ड वन Now third one is write the rational factor and irrational factor of the following sorts. These are mixed sorts, right? Because there is a uh, there are two factors. You can see one rational number as well as an irrational number. Now here, what is the rational factor here? Rational factor is ten because ten is a rational number. Now irrational factor, it is root three. That's it. over answer is done now for the second one also rational factor is minus 7 by 8 and irrational factor is ninth root of 21 done we are done with challenges in the next video we'll be looking at packages thanks for watching our video do like share and subscribe bye